How's it going guys? Welcome back to Worse Than Death. I think we're right at the edge, right at the end here. Chapter 8, right back where you started. Heading back to the high school, 5.45 a.m. Oh, holy shit. This place has been completely trashed. We better be careful. It's it's neat to come back here. Because uh, things will be different and I, I have to try and like vaguely remember the layout. Oh, and there's totally parts of this high school that like were set up to run and hide in and I never used before. So it's like c coming back around to it. Big slash on the like emblem on the wall there. The display cabinet's been smashed open. Jack's trophies have all been thrown aside. Seems like Jack's Jack is to blame for <gasps> Grace or something. Oh, I hated that more than anything. That was the worst thing that's happened in this entire game so far. That was some like fight club shit where a picture flashes from one frame but it looked like something out of The Exorcist. Jesus, fuck. There wasn't even like a sound to go along with it or anything. Blink and you miss it. Grace's memorial hasn't been touched at all. Is so, Did someone determine Jack is to blame and they've been... I mean, he, he died a long time ago in the context of the game. <sighs> Everything that was here has been tossed aside. Even the guest book from the reunion has been violently torn up. The gym... Is there anyone left here? Oh god, Flynn, this can't be. I was saying oh god on my own, but it just fit the game. Jesus. This is insane. Everyone who was at the reunion is dead. Oh no. Even Carol. Uh, Holly? What is it? Run. Running is always bad. Don't run. Sneak. Flynn. Just go. Hide! Jesus Christ. Uh... Is Flynn blameless? Is he evil in this game? Like, is he purposely setting us away? Oh my god. Just made it. Oh, it gave me an achievement for just making it, but then it still said that it... How... What does it list the achievement? Escape to another room and hide. Oh, well... Yeah, I guess I did that, but it seems like it... I failed. So, the achievement wasn't me successfully hiding, it was for this sequence happening. Basically, I wasn't not going to get that achievement because I don't even control the character during this little segment here where he says run and hide, you just go and do it automatically, so I couldn't not get that achievement, but I, I got to immediately keep moving here because I think they're come flying into the room. Whew. Okay. Uh, I'm... Uh, I don't know. Did it kill Flynn? Did Flynn get away? If he got away, then he's definitely evil in some way, shape, or form. Maybe not evil precisely, but classroom surprise unlocked. Somebody broke it. Sneak through. Oh god, uh, Mr. Sartain, or what's left of him? Looks like he was carved open and left here to bleed to death. He was a bit of a slime ball, but he didn't deserve this. Hey, wait, something metal in his hand. A bloody key. Looks very similar to the rusty keys that we found. The blackboard had notes from last week's classes, I guess, but they've been violently written over with something else. Doing this for you. What the hell does that mean? Well, it's Grace's dad's writing again. Is he doing it for Grace in some sick, twisted way, like in his mind? It's gone for now. Where did that thing come from? I need to get back to Flynn. Uh, my guess is it'll be locked or he won't be there. It's jammed. Won't be able to get to the gym this way. Flynn? Flynn, can you hear me? No answer. I've got to find another way around to the main lobby. Notices were supposed to tell students about uh, flooding and everything. Couldn't have prepared us for anything like this, though. <gasps> yeah, I can't believe, like, every character died. I didn't expect it to get so insanely intense. They're blocked off. Door's locked, but I have a key. Just as, just as I thought. It's in here now. Sneak. Just ditch. Where ditch into another room. Oh, it was just starting to say, where are you again, too. Biology class. Well, we can learn a little bit about the anatomy by studying this bloody mess. The classroom supply cabinet is filled with tools and other things. I can probably get in there, but it's locked and needs a key. So many keys. If you're actually saving all these keys and putting them on a key ring at this point, it's got to have like a thousand keys on it. Frog dissection posters. Uh, 
that seems unimportant. A slide projector has been set up with one of the desks. It looks pretty grimy. It looks like there's three slides missing from the carousel. Okay, I guess we gotta keep an eye out for that. Probably can't do anything with it until we've properly, like, repaired that. Keep a move on. Oh, but also duck and hide. Definitely. 100%. Uh, yeah, I got, I got, I kind of got the impression I was walking towards it. I mean, it sucks because you have to go through a loading screen and things like reset or whatever when you get caught by the monster, but at the same time, it's like, doesn't really set you back. The scares in the game never come from the monster itself. The monster, like, isn't scary, and you, like, know when you're about to get caught. It's very obvious, so... There, are, there have been a few good scares in this game, but it certainly doesn't come from the monster. More and outside indicates that the door here leads to the school's boiler room. Oh, just assumed it would be locked, because everything is locked. It's warm in here. Ah, nice change of pace. Feels good. Storage self is missing many items. Looks like someone went through almost every box and container. Someone really thoroughly checked everything in this town. <laughs> Looks like there's a gauge here for some kind of temperature. <laughs> for some kind of temperature? Who the hell knows how it, these sort of things work? Crank that shit up. You don't want it to be boiling hot? Uh, I, bet I, I bet I have to find something that tells me a precise temperature to set, rather than just guessing completely. Uh, another temperature setting thing for the west and the east. No point doing anything with it yet. Hand-drawn notice here, it's from the school's head custodian. Came up uh, with this wick new idea to keep the kids safe so we don't get a mess like last time. If the boilers aren't set right, I rig the doors to lock so nobody gets hurt. Just set them back to the right temps. Okay, mm but I don't know what those are. There's a drawing taped up in the wall. It looks like a setting sun. Rises in the east, sets in the west, so west... How would you tell that it's setting and not rising? <laughs> Anyways, west is 30 then, I, su I suppose, is what that's telling me there. West is 30. Boiler seems to be at the correct temperature now. It's not making so much noise. And in any way, does that... Is there anything here to help me with the east? I might have to have used the west access point to find the hint for, for what to do with the east. This door is locked. <laughs> All right, so I still don't have what I need to set the east one uh, accordingly. I'm going back up and out to see if the, the hint for that is out here somewhere. Ah, oh, bloody key. More, more bloody keys. Just so, so many. Ugh, it's dusty in here. Must be storage room for the custodians. This looks helpful. There's a drawing taped up to a box here on the shelf. It looks like a rising sun, 200 Fahrenheit. Don't forget. What's the part I'm not supposed to forget? Seems like that might be an important detail. There are packs of light bulbs, replacement bolts and washers, and all sorts of stuff. <laughs> Every level of the shelf is stuffed with cleaning supplies, chemicals, and rags. Hey, there's a dirty old slide back here, hidden among some uh, boiler parts. There's the number 12 written on it in permanent marker. I wonder, we probably could have checked the, the carousel of slides with like what it had available at that point you know like it, even with three slides missing there probably would have been like a story to be told and maybe we could have just logicked out what the gaps were 200 fahrenheit fahrenheit celsius would not make sense right in the middle there not quite oh yeah it would be right there boilers adjusted it's all settled down they're both operating safely now much less warm in here which does that mean you're suddenly at risk of the monster coming does heat keep him out in some way potentially now that they're working the the door is released i think i checked everywhere where there may have been slides i think i would have found all that hey this is the art and music wing of the school that means the door at the end of the hall leads back to the gym shit 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 <laughs> oh got away just in time this door or the one at the other end? This is the music room. Why is it so dark? Well, it's a strange thing to wonder to yourself because basically everything is going poorly at this stage. Like nothing 
is intact or well lit or not covered in blood, so it's weird that it would surprise you. There's something here in the chair, but it's too dark to see. Come on. Should be able to tell. There's a music sheet stand here, but it doesn't have anything on it. Can I can click around? I guess I gotta find a music sheet to place on there. Ah, uh, we're ignoring the dead body. Yep, don't need it. This is the same old piano that was used when we were in school. But it looks like it's been smashed violently. There's blood all over. Like it was struck with something heavy. Even the keys have been broken. Just slip all this around. I, I guess we're just... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This one at the bottom has a little bit something, something written on it. Nope, just little dots. <laughs> Music sheet of some kind here, but there doesn't seem to be anything on it. I thought those little circles would be something. Why did you ignore all the rest of them? That was the only one you saw any need in taking? This is a very intricately built puzzle. If there's a music stand that can react to the weight of a paper being put on it. Uh, don't really understand, but... Oh. The sheet wasn't blank after all. Why'd you even think to check? What the hell does that mean? Keep your eyes to yourself. And there we go. The lights are back on. Oh god, the chair. Yeah, not good. Oh god, how awful. His eyes have been gouged out of his head. There's an ID badge in one of his pockets. It says it's the head custodian. At least he still has his head, you know? It's a single key. This key is small, so I don't think it'll open the way to the gym. It just has a slightly hastily written word on its label. Bio. Who or what could do such a thing to this poor man? I was just curious if coming back to the piano was any different now that the lights are on. It didn't seem like it. Oh. Something else I can check, though. Flynn used to try to play the drums in here to impress the girls. I have to admit, even I thought he was cool. Yeah, drummers. Drummers are the coolest. <laughs> now the door seems to open just fine. Did we have trouble with it before? It seemed like we just kind of walked right in, so I didn't really think anything of it. So long, sucker! <laughs> oh, didn't need a key for this one. Hey, it's our old art class. It looks almost exactly the same. I hated art class. I just couldn't get it. Grace was always so talented, just like her mother. Until I saw that needlepoint image in Grace's house, I forgot where she got it from. It's a half-finished sculpture of Bruce Murray, the founder of Bruce Bay. Looks so similar to that big statue that was in the library. That doesn't really seem, that just seems like a way of giving some connective tissue to the town. I don't really see how that would be a clue to the mystery. A crude note's been taped on the wall. Looks like it was written with oil sticks. I told the tale here of how you were wronged. Do you see it? Forgive me, they're out of order. Okay, so we got numerous canvases here to go through. It's a drawing of a car smashing violently into a tree. I kind of had figured for quite a while that the accident was a car crash. It was never said outright, I don't think. But presumably, if we kind of make the order in our minds, it's going to show that the crash is someone's fault, not just poor driving. Oh, an angry-looking drawing of an angel rising up from the wreck of, uh, wreck of some kind. So that's afterwards, I'm guessing. There's a slide here under glass, but the case is shut tight. There has to be a way to open it. Oh, putting these in order, maybe? I can't really seem to interact with them. Pencil drawing of a car swerving on an icy road. Did someone make the road icy? It's a drawing of an angel behind a dark figure. Hmm. Peculiar. Don't know if that's if there's actually something to make of that, or if it's like the this poor dis disillusioned man, like making his own narrative. The classroom shelves are packed with supplies and student projects. Looks like a lot of the drawing tools were taken to to draw all this stuff up. I I I can't seem to interact with these, so I don't think I need to pick them up and move them or or activate them in order or something that makes sense. I really, really don't understand what to do there. I'll have to come back. 
Presumably, I have to go to the bio room that I have the key for. Display of paintings, drawings, and sculptures in the art class. It's been smashed to pieces. Nothing else I can get from that. This goes to the gym. The door is unlocked with some kind of makeshift pin pad. Looks like somebody rigged this out of spare parts. Now, what could the code be? Ah, I probably need to find the slides. And the carousel will have the, the code or something. So, is there? There's something I have to do here to get access to this. Oh, once you interact with one, it like blocks out the ability. It's like forcing me to read them in a specific order this time. Oh, shit. What was that loud thud? Does that mean I failed? Did I do it incorrectly? Normally she points out when I've done when I've done like a correct sequence. All right. Uh, I try to reset that and see if it allows me to interact with every canvas again. So those two, yes. Yeah, I can interact with every single one. So in that case, ah, shit, I don't remember. This one was the swerving car. Swerving car. And then a car crash. And then the angel rising out of the wreck. And then an angel hovering over the figure. Is that correct? There, there we go. Yes. All right. There's a filthy looking old slide here now. I can't make out the images in here, but the number 34 is written on the slide in permanent marker. Oh shit, was there a number written on one of the other ones? There might have been. 12. 1, 2, 3, 4? <laughs> is that seriously what the code to this pin pad's gonna end up being? Uh, that might be all I have to do here. Maybe I don't have to go back to the, the carousel right away. Some makeshift pin pad, all that. 1, 2, 3, Four. No? In that case, three, four, one, two. Really? Hmm, I guess, shit. I only remember two numbers. If there was a number written on the second one, then I don't recall. Alright, alright, I probably have to go back to the, the carousel now then. Which I, I didn't want to skip that. I guess, I guess if I would have, like, figured it out on the spot, then I would have skipped what is probably a, prob a pretty important, like, story detail within the game. I wasn't trying to skip it, I just thought maybe, um, it wanted you to do this first, I guess. Wrong door, didn't need to go there. Back through this one. Oh, it was a lot of backtracking to get, get back to here. I only have two of them! Damn it! <laughs> I didn't realize that I had, I had, uh only had so few. Well, 34 goes uh, at the far end here. 12 goes here. Shit. Shit, I can't believe I didn't uh, realize that. Well, now that makes me start to think that the code... The code for that door is coming from somewhere else then. Where else has like a series of numbers been written in, in the high school? I've been doing like a lot of backtracking and running around the school at this point. I... There weren't like numbers associated with any of that stuff. I got... I got really nothing to go off of right now. There are like multiple of these monsters then, right? Like I keep moving through the school and I'm finding them not just in one location. So that's kind of curious to think through. We don't really know what's going on with those monsters at all to begin with. But then they, they're like recurringly throughout the school. There's definitely more than one. I have been backtracking absolutely everywhere. I I've, am missing something. I feel like I've been to every room five times now. Oh my god. I had been, I, I guess I hadn't been coming back to the room with the carousel in it in, in a while because in my mind I was like, that's the end, the end point. No, I think I have a key now. Oh my god, I found a key at some point. Now it's been so long of me running around, I don't even remember where. Oh, the key I found on the custodian worked. Okay, that's where I got that from. Oh, there's an eyeball. <laughs> there's so much stuff in here. Uh, can I click on anything other than the eyeball? Hmm, there's a faded looking old slide tucked away in here. It has the number 22 written on it. There we go. 12, 34 might still be a... a code for that uh, pin pad, but probably I'll need to check the slides and that'll actually be what I need. Oh my god, there's a human eye here. 
looks damaged, like somebody gouged it out. Oh, from the custodian then. Ugh. Do I need both eyes? Do I need to collect the eye? No. No, that's just, uh, just there. It's a container of some kind of disinfectant used for lab equipment. Some of the fluid has been used. Has been used. What's she disinfecting? Oh, a scalpel here. Looks like it's been cleaned recently. But you weren't cleaning scalpels and disinfecting it to claw out somebody's eye, were you? Because, like, it seems like you wouldn't need to spend the time and care when you're violently gouging an eye. I think you can probably do it as messy as you want and with a, as little sanitation as you want. All of them in place, let's see what's on them. There's a projector looping through its carousel of slides. What does this mean? Ooh, there's a spooky face there, but then three, one, five, eight. One, eight. I'm trying to get one, eight, five, three. One, eight, five, three. Okay. Now I gotta rediscover where the locked door is again. Is it this one right here? No. I don't remember. I've been running around far too much. It's on like the opposite side of the school. I'm in completely the wrong end. It's super weird when I think about it to have like stamina as a mechanic when I can't actually run from the monster anyways. Like what does it matter? Like if, if I run then the monster immediately catches me if it's like you know in the room with me or whatever. But it, it doesn't matter if I'm out of breath and can't run because running like it it just they don't match up it makes it makes it useless it just makes it so i can't run around as much as i would like to now that we've come all the way around this should be the pin pad 1853 is what i remember 1853 and check i did it i can finally get back to the gym See what the hell happened in there. Hopefully not a disemboweled Flynn. Made it back to the lobby. Now to get to the gymnasium and save Flynn. What kind of shit's gonna be going on in here? <sighs> Flynn, are you here? Oh my god. Flynn, answer me. Damn it, he's out cold. I didn't even see him. Oh. Oh. Okay. What? <laughs> what the hell is that? Father, you must stop. Oh, it's definitely Grace. She's got the, the heart earring, and I guess that's her dad. So that answers both those questions immediately. Grace, I knew it. I knew you were there. All this time, I knew you would see what I was doing, and you'd understand. Understand? Look at you, Father. Why have you done this? For you, of course. Why else would I have done what I've done? gone to the lengths that I've gone. I don't understand. You've murdered classmates, friends. Grace, don't you see? They weren't your friends. They wronged you. Every last one. This whole town. You were always too good for them. Oh, he's got a piece of his ear missing. The way they goaded you for being poor. The way they denied you even a proper burial. I tried to fight back, sweetheart. Believe me. I told the paper. I even told that idiot Virgil. Take photos as proof. No. Not Virgil, too. But even he betrayed me in the end. More concerned about money than seeing that justice got done. Those twins, that teacher, his perversions. Everyone only cared about themselves and their secrets. And never you. Never my angel. Father, I was never an angel. Not now, not then. Nonsense. Jack thought so too, and I'll admit Jack proved to be the most difficult. He was a buffoon, but in his own way he loved you, Grace. But he found out I was tipping the paper off about his little side business at the sawmill, so it couldn't be helped. And after I was admitted to the hospital, he kept showing up to keep me quiet. For months he loomed over me, threatening me when the nurses weren't looking. You can't imagine how angry I became. I might have gone a little overboard with him. He was the first one, you see, and it caught me off guard. You went overboard with him only? You cut off a few heads, gouged a few eyes. I think you went overboard in a lot of ways. But that feels like so long ago now, and so you're the only one left, Flynn. You were supposed to protect her, take care of her. You were supposed to be better than the others. What's more, you were like my son. Because of you, my angel is gone. 
she's right over there. It should have been you that died in that car accident. And now, I'm gonna make things right. Stop! It wasn't his fault! You... what are you doing here? Listen to me, this is insane! This isn't gonna make anything right! Whatever you thought of Vanessa or Jack or anyone else, they didn't deserve what you did to them. What do you know about it? You of all people should understand. You are the only one who never did any harm to her. That's not really true. A week before their accident, I sent Grace and Flynn a letter. It took me months to work up the courage to write it, and I was so afraid of what would happen when they finally read it. But they never did. Flynn proposed to Grace, and she accepted. A few days later, they hit that tree, and everything changed. I don't know what happened to the, le the letter. Maybe it got lost. Maybe somebody threw it out. Flynn was so heartbroken that for the last two years, I decided that what I wanted to say didn't matter anymore. That she loved Grace? That she loved Flynn? I think it's more likely that she loved Grace. There's kind of been hints, maybe. But then we were all invited to this reunion, and I decided to finally tell Flynn the truth. I kept for so long. We're best friends, right? It should have been easy, but... Now that I've seen that he can't move on, I don't know if I can. You see, I never really wanted the two of them to get married. You're just gonna walk straight past this psycho like that? Grace, it, it really is you, isn't it? You've been there this whole time, haven't you? Back in the hallway after the reunion, or even in that trailer. All these times it was you trying to warn me, wasn't it? Holly, I don't know how, but suddenly I was aware of things. I could feel you there. I was just trying to break through. I know. I know that now. I'm so sorry. I wish I could have said this when you were alive instead of letting it eat away at me all this time. We were all so close, but for me, it was more than that. You were more than just a friend to me, Grace. I, I always loved you. What? Holly, I never knew. I swear it. I know, for a while I thought you two had read my letter and Flynn was upset and that's what caused the accident. I was so afraid to ask Flynn about it so I said nothing and in doing so I let you both down. So you see, we all had our secrets here, even me. What are you going to do now? Are you going to murder me like you did all the others? I was wrong about you then. You're no different than the rest of them. Fine, and you can join your friends in hell. Stop this. Don't you dare use me as an excuse for what you've done. None of this has been for me, Father. It's all been for you. Now I understand. Your selfishness and insanity has kept me here. Seething with hatred and angry in a cold black abyss. Unable to do anything and unable to move on. But that's over now. I won't let you hurt the ones who really loved me. Not anymore. Grace. Thank you, Holly. Thank you for telling me. Now run. Take Flynn and get out of here. She's gonna kill her dad as an angel, spirit, ghost. An explosion was not what I expected, honestly. An exploding ghost, hey? Hmm. Not the most common type of spirit that people encounter. That's... Are the credits rolling? Is that the end? Because that was very sudden. And I mean, if you want to keep it secret, you must also hide it from yourself. George Orwell. That was like sudden and I don't really know what to make of it. Three may keep a secret, if two of them are dead. Benjamin Franklin. <laughs> that's a that's a pretty funny one, actually. I mean, like, oh god, was my headphone thing crooked this whole time? If anyone noticed that, I bet you it was weirdly annoying. The best way of keeping a secret is to pretend there isn't one. Margaret Atwood. I don't know. I don't know. It was a neat game. Three things cannot uh, long stay hidden. The sun, the moon, and the truth. Buddha. That just kind of came together. We never answered the weird spirit. Was that Grace? 
Why was she saying, who are you, or whatever? Do nothing secretly, for time sees and hears all things and discloses all. Sophocles. I just, like, don't... I don't know. It was just sudden. Nothing weighs on us so heavily as a secret. Jean de La Fontaine. Yeah. The fact that she came back as a ghost and, like, I guess the story is more straightforward than I made it out to be, but also not. It is one of the great secrets of life that those things that are most worth do doing, we do for others. Who was Carol? I don't know what I wanted or expected from that ending. Oh, there's a there's more. So what time are you driving back to the city tomorrow? First thing in the morning. I'm gonna get an early start and beat the traffic. You guys are just chilling at Sam's, hey? Half the town was murdered and that's it. Yeah, that makes sense. Probably wanna bail before the police wanna question you about anything that happened. <laughs> don't wanna go down with this ship. Flee the country. It's uh it's gonna take a while before things feel normal again, isn't it? Yeah, it will. But we'll get past this, Flynn. I'm sure eventually it'll get easier. Everyone we've ever known is dead. But we'll get through it. I, I hope so. Look at everyone else around us. It's only been a few weeks and it's like nothing even happened. Oh, okay, so she's not fleeing the next day. To imagine that so much violence, so much insanity happened right here in our little town. It's unthinkable. Maybe that's the problem. People don't really want to think about it and face the truth. Kind of like with me and Grace. Yeah, maybe you're right. Listen, Holly, we've been through so much. And, well, what you said in the cemetery. Oh, Flynn, I'm sorry I blew up at you. I, I didn't mean what I said. No, no, you were right. I, I wasn't ready to move on, but after all this, well, that, well, what choice do I have? Anyway, I was wondering, what was it you wanted to tell me, you know, when you first arrived for the reunion? Do we still tell, do we end up telling him after all this? Like, we told Grace, we told her dad. Oh, uh, don't worry about it, Flynn. It wasn't important. Are you sure? You seem to have something on your mind. Yeah, I'm sure you, you have enough to worry about after all this. I'll be right back. I, I just have to use the bathroom. Jesus, fuck. Holly, are you okay? Yeah, Sam, don't worry. A, a glass just fell. For no reason. Hey, wait a minute. Actually, uh, Flynn? Oh, so was that a little bit of, like, Grace being like, Hey, you get back there and you tell the truth. On second thought, you, you were right. There is something we should talk about. That's nice that there's that closure there. And the game was neat. Ah, enjoyable. Not sure how much I would particularly recommend it. It was worth a playthrough, I guess. It was relatively short and all that. You guys will have to let me know what you think of the whole thing overall. Yeah, I'm curious to, curious to open up that conversation. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.